Sakusa tiredly walked inside his dorm room, sighing heavily as he closed the door right behind him. He then took off his gym bag and jacket before going towards the kitchen to grab himself a warm cup of water. Grabbing his phone on the way he then opens his messaging app to try and talk to his cousin about what had transpired that day, something he has been doing ever since he started getting weird feelings for a certain blonde-haired setter. Private messages between Sakusa Kayumi and Kamori Motoa. Yo, you free to talk? Kamori Motoa is online. Sorry cousin, I'm currently doing something so I can't talk for long was it? Ugh never mind. Is this about Atsumu again? Yeah. I keep telling you, those weird feelings you get when you're with him is probably just you having a crush on him smirking face. Shut up Motoya how would you even know if I had a crush on him or not? You're a literal simp for him. I think that's a good enough explanation. How exactly? Dude you go home together, you eat together and he even shows the same apartment complex as you. If that doesn't scream I have a crush on you please notice me then I don't know what is. Or what if he's just being a good friend you know a eh, friend? Ever heard of that word Motoya? Cuz, you're hopeless. Sooner or later you're gonna have to realize that you're hopelessly pining over him. Which means that you should start making a move before he starts moving on and find someone else. Shut up I am not hopelessly pining over him. This is just me finding him annoying. Siri. Annoyingly cute perhaps? Smirking face. I knew talking to you was a mistake. Love you too cuz winking face with stuck out tongue. Reversed hand with middle finger extended. The curly haired spiker then breathed a heavy sigh. Of course his cousin would be of no help to his dilemma. Sitting down on his couch he then tried thinking about people he knows that might be facing the same situation as he is. After a few minutes of thinking he then opens up his phone once more to contact two people. Sakusa Kiyumi added Hinata Shoyo and Bakuto Katero to the group chat. I need help. Hinata Shoyo and Bakuto Katero are online. Surprised face with open mouth. Omi-san chatting? That's a first. What do you need Omi-kun? Is it really that surprising for me to start initiating conversations or? Of course. You rarely talk in the MSBY group chat. Fair enough. But I need your help because my cousin's an idiot and can't help me. Skull. What did Kamono do? He was being very unhelpful with my case so now I need your help. What do you need help with for Omi-san? Yeah. Is there anything we can do for you? I need you guys to answer a question. Is it something related to school because if that's the case I might not be able to help you with that Omi-san. Ooh maybe I can help. Ask away buddy oh pal. Right. So. I kind of know this person right. Yuha. What if this friend of mine was feeling all giddy whenever they see a specific person. Yeah. How would I explain to my friend what they were experiencing. You mean you know someone who gets weird feelings whenever they meet a certain someone. Yeah he I mean they've been bugging me a lot asking questions why they feel that way. Could you give us more details Kiyumi-kun. Like what exactly does your friend feel? Something like I don't know butterflies in their stomach or something. And they somehow cannot keep their eyes away from them so they end up staring. Something along those lines I guess. Kind of like the way you look at Atsumu-san every practice? I excuse me. Oh yeah is that how it is Omi-kun? Like the way Shokun described? I am UHH yeah? I guess. Sounds like this friend of yours isn't actually a friend homi san What? What are you talking about? I agree. The way you described it was too specific Kiyumi. Almost like this friend of yours was actually probably. You? Smirking face. I know it is not. First stage. Denial. Ugh you guys are of no help whatsoever I'm going offline. Sakusa Kiyumi is offline. Wait. Omi-san don't go. I think I might be able to help out with your dilemma. Sakusa Kiyumi is online. What do you want me to do? Tell Atsumu that I get weird feelings that I don't understand whenever he's near. Things are going to get weird between us if that happens and it'll probably affect the team's performance as well. Not exactly what I had in mind to be honest. I mean if it was that easy I probably would have confessed to Akashi a long time ago. Hey. Bakuto-san. You have a crush on Akashi-san. I I mean ahi. Alright fine to be fair to everyone since Omi-san revealed his crush on Atsumu-san and Bakuto-san revealed his crush on Akashi-san. I should probably confess that I too have a crush on a certain idiot setter. Kajima. Unfortunately unamused face. Hey I never said that I have a crush on Atsumu. These weird feelings I get when I see is probably just me getting annoyed at his stupid face. If you were so annoyed with him wouldn't you have done something about it now? Exactly Saken. I I don't know okay. I'm just so confused I don't know if this thing is just stupid infatuation or something. Or maybe this is just you convincing yourself that you don't have a crush on him so in the event that you do confess and he ends up rejecting you, which is far from happening, it wouldn't hurt as much. Horizontal ellipsis. Whoa Bakuto-san, that was a mouthful. Judging from the way you're acting Saken it seems that there might be some truth in what I guessed. Fine, so what if I'm pretending and convincing myself that I don't have a crush on him? It's not like the guy likes me back or anything I think I'd be better off convincing myself that my feelings are stupid so it wouldn't hurt as much. I mean you're never really going to know the outcome if you won't try you know Saken? But Kuto-san is right. Are you sure you want to live in a constant state of what ifs? Since when did you two start using your brains? Excuse you. I can be smart sometimes, you know. That's not the point here Omi-san. If you don't do something about it now you're definitely going to face a lot of regrets in the future. Then what do you want me to do exactly? I can't just go up to Atsumu and tell him hey I have a crush on you. It'll make things weird for both of us especially if he rejects it. I don't think I can live with the embarrassment. What about a lyric prank? You can confess to him using a song that perfectly describes what you want to say to him and if he rejects you then you just have to say it was a prank relieved face. That's dumb. Ha. Huh. Then let's see you come up with better ideas then. No it's just that. A lyric prank? Seriously? 
Atsumu's not that dumb you know. He'll eventually realize that I keep messaging him the same thing over and over again and he's going to catch on that it's a lyric prank. How about we make him see you as a potential boyfriend? How? What if you do something that lets you both know each other more? Talk to him about stuff other than volleyball. Get to know his favorite food. Get to know him better until such time that he no longer has a choice but to think about you as well. Whoa. That's not a bad plan. Shoyokun. I mean my lyric prank idea could have been a much easier one but okay let's stick with this plan I guess. Thanks I came up with it myself relieved face. And how do we execute this plan exactly? Maybe you could go for one of those cute little TikTok challenges or something. Oh yeah like the one where you pretend to fall asleep while facetiming your SO or something along those lines. Yeah no I'm not going to embarrass myself in front of Atsumu. Oh come on Omi-san it doesn't have to be something embarrassing you know. Maybe a simple challenge like falling asleep on his shoulder? Yeah. That should be simple enough for you right? You can probably do that when you guys are on the train together. I mean it is a good plan but I'm not doing it unless the both of you do it to your crushes too. I Ajbsen excuse me. You want me to do that to Kajima? Are you out of your mind or something? What Hinata said. I don't think I can ever show my face to Kashi if I attempted to do that to him. Besides, aren't you the one who's hopelessly pining over Atsumu-san? You're all on the same boat as I am. You may not admit it but that crush of yours on Kajima is not just an ordinary crush. You're also wondering what it would be if you became his boyfriend right? I could also say the same for Bakuto. No you're wrong. Kajima doesn't like me like that. I just know it. I urge excuse me Sakusa. Really? How do the two of you know that they don't like you? Have you told them about your feelings? Well, no but I just know it won't turn out well. What Bakuto-san said. We don't need to do something about it because we know that it won't turn out well. Oh. So you're telling me that you'd rather live in a constant state of what-ifs with your crushes? Kind of ironic don't you think? This bitch. Well. You guys said it yourself. If you don't do something about it now you're definitely going to face a lot of regrets in the future. I don't like how he turned our words against us Hinata. You. Ugh. Fine. But just so you know I'm not happy about this. Same. We'll do the challenge to our crushes whenever we get the chance and we'll share our findings here in this GC got it? Alright. Oh god I'm nervous. Sakusa Kayumi, Bakuto Katero and Hinata Shoyo are offline. Bakuoka. Bakuto tiredly sat down on the gym floor, wiping his sweat with a towel from one hand and drinking water to quench his thirst. Suddenly an energetic orange-haired middle blocker and a stoic black-haired wing spiker went in his direction. Bakuto-san, when are you planning to do the challenge? SHH not so loud are you trying to get us caught? Sorry sorry. I don't know, maybe today. I'll have to ask Agashi if he wants to take the train together to go home. Good luck with your challenge Bakuto-san. What challenge? Hey guys. I Zumi san I am a you know just a little game we've been playing a lot he yeah that's it. You how and what game is this challenge? Genshin Impact. Hinata looked at Sakusa confused. Sakusa on the other hand looked back and gave him a look signaling him to play along. Alright yeah he we've been playing Genshin a lot these past few days. You how yeah that's it. We made a challenge to see which of us could make it to rank 45 the fastest. Ah, but I assume this does not affect your performance whatsoever? Iwezumi looked at them strictly which sent a chill in the player's spines. Not at all Iwezumi-san. Yeah, we make sure that we get adequate amounts of sleep. Good, then I'll leave you to it. The player sighed deeply, even though they were already grown men. Iwezumi-san's intimidating presence still made them shudder. Everybody get back to practice. Let's go. Private messages between Bakuto-san and Agashki. Kashi. Agashki is online. Good afternoon Bakuto-san. Did you need anything? Ah. Am I interrupting something Kashi? No, not really. I'm just finishing up here before going home why? Oh are you UHH okay with me tagging along with you? You want to ride the train home together? Yes. I mean if you're up for it of course he it's fine if you don't. Sure let's meet at the terminal. Yes. Do you want me to bring you food or anything? Ah that's fine Bakuto-san really. Eh. Hey. Are you sure? You work really hard and you sometimes forget to eat you know? Yes it's perfectly fine Bakuto-san. Message me when you arrive at the station okay? Okay Kashi. Bakuto-san and Agashki are offline. Bakuto who was staring at his phone was unable to suppress a small smile on his face while walking towards one of his crush's favorite anijiri shops. After a quick trip to one of anijiri Mia's branches Bakuto hurriedly went to the terminal in order to not keep Akashi from waiting any longer. Private messages between Bakuto-san and Agashki. Kashi I'm here at the station. Alright Bakuto-san, I'll come and search for you. I'm waving my hand. Do you see me? Yes I do. Great. Not long after, Akashi then appeared right in front of Bakuto and greeted him with a soft smile which made Bakuto's cheeks go red. Are you alright Bakuto-san? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh of course haha I'm fine let's go. Are you sure you're not having a fever? You're red all over. Oh it's nothing. Come on before the train leaves us. The duo then entered the train and settled down in one of the benches close to its doors. The train was nearly empty save for five other passengers who were sitting far away from Bakuto and Akashi. Upon sitting down a faint gurgling noise was heard which then caught Bakuto's attention. I am he. Bakuto smiled softly at Akashi and pulled out an anijiri from his duffel bag. Here, eat this. I bought this specifically for you. Ah, really sorry for making you do this for me Bakuto-san I promise I'll pay you back. Hey, it's nothing Kashi, just you taking care of yourself and being healthy is enough for me. Akashi slightly choked upon hearing those words and suddenly turned red. Are you okay Kashi? Here, have some water. 
Akashi then chugged the offered water down as he received it from Bakuto. Sorry. Haha guess you were so hungry you forgot to chew ha? Huh? Akashi chuckled. Good thing you have me here. Yeah. Haha thanks Bakuto-san. Don't mention it. The two then conversed with each other covering a lot of topics while they waited for their stop. Both of them seemed to enjoy each other's company with Bakuto getting flustered along the way. After a long conversation the duo was now enjoying each other's company in silence which was the perfect opportunity for Bakuto to execute his plan. Bakuto pretended to become sleepy and started swaying back and forth until such time that his head was laying on Akashi's shoulder. Akashi on the other hand stiffened up but then slowly softened up when he found out it was Bakuto who was laying his head on his shoulder. Upon inspection of his sleeping face, Akashi could feel his cheeks burning up and tried to calm himself down. You really are tired from practice huh? He said softly but it was enough for Bakuto to still hear him. Akashi then slowly opened his bag to search for anything he might be able to use to turn into a blanket for Bakuto. After successfully retrieving his coat without waking up Bakuto, he then slowly proceeded to blanket Bakuto with his coat. Take a good rest Bakuto-san. You deserve it. Cage Hina. Hinata was unsure on what to do with his challenge. It was hard to find a way to accidentally fall asleep on his crush's shoulder as it wasn't really that easy to get access to Kajima. Maybe if I do it right after our practice? He thought to himself, not knowing that a certain blueberry head was watching him think out loud. Do what after practice? Hinata flinched. He did not expect his crush to hear him think out loud especially for a topic like this. I-U-H-H. Hinata started fidgeting with his fingers. Did he find out? Shit I haven't even started and I've already failed. Nothing. It's nothing really. Right. Don't try to lie to me Hinata. Hinata gulped. He had to come up with a believable excuse or this whole operation is going to be exposed. I, I just wanted to ask if you wanted extra practice right after? Yeah. That's it. Huh? You know. Maybe we could come up with a new move to showcase in the Olympics? Like the old times. PFFT you're talking as if we're already old. Hey. Do you want to practice with me or not? Fine. But if Iwazumi san catches us I'm blaming it all on you. PSHH of course you would. Hey loverbirds. Time for practice. The sound of volleyballs hitting the gym floors was still prominent even though most of the national team had already packed up. Kajima-kun. Let's take a break. Oh. Can't keep up with me I assume. Kajima grinned. The duo made a bet on whoever would get tired first and he smiled to himself knowing he won the bet. Shut up. I had to jump a lot excuse you. Nah. Just admit it. I'm better than you. You know what. HMP. Hinata sat down on the gym floor with a pout on his face. Unaware of his surroundings. Kajima who was watching him found it very cute which led to his cheeks heating up. Kajima then walked towards Hinata's direction and as the latter detected his presence he immediately turned his back against him with his arms crossed and sporting an even bigger pout on his face. Kajima chuckled and sat down with his back leaning on the tangerine's back. Stop your sulking. You know I was just kidding right? Shut up. The duo sat in silence, trying to recover from the fatigue of practicing the whole day. After a long while Kajima then noticed something heavy on his shoulder. Upon inspection he then saw his orange-haired friend sleeping peacefully on his shoulder. Kajima's cheeks started to turn red at the sight of Hinata sleeping. He didn't know what to do and instead of trying to wake him up he stiffened up his position and prayed to God that he'd wake up sooner or later. Sakuatsu. Sakusa was the most nervous among the three as he never really initiated physical contact with Atsumu. Oftentimes it was always the faux blonde who would try and put his arm around his shoulder which would always fluster the curly-haired spiker. Omi. You up for a movie night with Sunarin and my brother? Sakusa thought of his gamaplan. If he were to accept the invitation he would get the chance to do the challenge but at the risk of him being seen by Suno and Atsumu's brother. Hello? F Tomi? Are you coming with us or nah? I uh. Yeah sure. D do you want me to bring any snacks? No need. Samu's responsible for the food but you can bring some if you like. I also got you some Yumaboshi in case. Oh. Uhh um thanks Tsunu. Let's meet at the entrance of our complex okay? I know you still want to take a shower after being covered in sweat all day. Sakusa nodded, amazed at how Atsumu was able to predict what he wanted to do. Hey yeah sure let's meet at the entrance. Cool. Does 7pm sound good? Yeah I'll be sure to show up early. Atsumu then gave him a beaming smile, which was enough to catch the curly haired spiker to have his cheeks turn red. Are you okay Omi? Why are you turning red? Nothing. Let's just go home shall we? Sure thing. You arrived real early Omi Omi. Didn't I tell you I'd arrive early? Hey. Yeah you did come on let's go. Sakusa nodded before they left the apartment complex and headed to Osamu's place. Yo. Kiyumi what's happening? Hey. What do you have for the snacks? Samu. Didn't you just eat dinner? Stop being a pig. Tsumu. Shut up. Sakusa chuckled at the interaction which then caught the faux blonde's attention. What are you laughing at Omi? I mean your brother's right you know Tsumu. We literally just ate. HMPH and here I thought you would be on my side. Shut up. Come on. Let's go inside. The duo then stepped inside the house and took off their footwear before proceeding to the living room. Yo. Suna greeted them before going back to searching for a movie. You found a movie we can watch Rin? I'm thinking of a horror movie but everything here is ass though. How about an action movie? The two then started discussing movie options whilst Sakusa went towards the kitchen area. Need help with anything Miyo-san? You please don't call me that Kiyumi. Just call me Samu. You're already dating my brother and it feels weird being called like that by you. Sakusa froze. He couldn't believe what he had heard from Osamu's mouth. Are you okay? 
You look like you just seen a ghost or something. W what D did you say Mia I mean Samu? I said not to call me Mia because you're practically my brother now, seeing as how you're probably dating Tsumu. But, we're, not, dating? Wait, you aren't? How come you act so much like a simp towards him though? I-U-H-H. A doesn't matter, do you have any plans of asking him out? Sakusa was speechless, his crush's brother was asking him very sensitive information that he himself couldn't even answer. If you're uncomfortable answering it you don't have to, but seriously though I think the two of you would make a good couple if you ask me. Tsumu wouldn't stop talking about you and it drives me nuts. I am. Guys. Are the snacks ready yet? We found a movie. Yeah yeah just wait you impatient bitch. Bitch. Could you help me bring these to the living room Kiyumi? UHH yeah. Sure. Sakusa then brought the snacks to the living room before being signaled by Atsumu to sit right beside him. Are you okay Omi? Why yeah I'm fine. Just a little cold that's all. Ah wait let me go get a blanket for ya. Wait no. Atsumu then hurriedly went into his brother's room to fetch Sakusa a blanket to use. You better not be messing up my room that Sumu. Shut up. After a few minutes, Atsumu went back to the living room and handed over the blanket for Sakusa to use. Alright let's get this movie started. Suno and the Miyas watched the movie intently with the occasional side comments pertaining to the character's choices in the movie. Sakusa on the other hand was focused on how he was going to execute the challenge. Was he just going to lay his head on his shoulder? Or should he make it a little more dramatic? Yo okay, Omi? Sakusa snapped out of his thoughts after hearing his voice. Yeah yeah I'm fine. He then proceeded to act a little dizzy which made Atsumu concerned. Are you sure? I'm fine really let's just watch the movie okay? Whatever you say Omi. Sakusa then sighed deeply, before mentally preparing himself for what he was about to do next. The curly-haired spiker slowly lowered his head until such time that he could feel Atsumu's shoulder. Osamu who was watching from afar sported a small grin on his face as he saw the events transpiring in front of his very eyes. Atsumu, who was shocked by the action, stiffened up and turned to his twin for help, with his twin just laughing at him quietly as he pleaded with his eyes. Year on year own in this one. He mouthed before returning back to watching the movie. Atsumu was a blushing mess and instead of trying to wake Sakusa up he instead opted to pray to the gods that Kayumi would wake up sooner or later. Sakusa on the other hand was trying his best not to appear awake as he laid his head on his crush's shoulder. Private messages between Bakuto Katero, Hinata Shoyo and Sakusa Kiyumi. How did everyone do? I actually fell asleep on his shoulder skull. PFFT what did Kajima do? He woke me up and assisted me home. Or, oh. Fax Nanlaka I can't believe I just did that to my crush I. I don't know how to feel. Ahoho how is our simp doing? I excuse me. What did you just call me? Woomi san you're starting to imitate Atsumu san's way of speaking. Shut up. Sue, tell us how it went. It was just normal okay. I slept on his shoulder, that's all. How did you feel? It felt. Calming I guess. Hey maybe we should be doing these challenges more. We might just be able to set you two up and in turn we might also be able to get a chance with our crushes ha? Huh? Aa I still can't believe I did that to Kajima al- Pfft what's his deal? He apparently fell asleep for real. Skull. Did something else happen Hinata? Why isn't he responding? Ah sorry everyone I was talking to someone else. Question mark. It was Okua-san. He's been messaging me non-stop about Iwazumi-san a lot and it's driving me insane. Good luck to you bud. JHBSKJN you'll need to help me give him advice or something. I already have to figure out my shit Kajima-i. Why not just add him to this group chat? No way. Okua-toru is probably a blabbermouth. I can't risk getting exposed. Please. I need everyone's help with him. I can't do this alone. Maybe just stop replying to him? What? No. That's rude what the fuck Omi-san? Well. Just add him to the group chat. I mean we know he has a crush on Iwazumi-san right? If he does end up exposing too much we could always use his crush on our trainer as blackmail. I wow. Fine. But if he says too much I'm showing no mercy to him. Hinata Shoyo added Okua Toru to the group chat. 